right wherever I go it says the Lord is good his mercy endures forever the Lord is good and his mercy endures forever be bold as a lion be bold as a lion you know how do you be as bold as a lion you know I went to I just got back to Africa and if anybody has seen my video I have to you show it you see me walking with a huge lion it is it's a Hamas line. I'm walking right up to it and I'm I'm on his face. I'm in his face. Not lying goes. It, it freaked people out. I had no fear because I knew my God was with me. You talk about witchcraft? When I went to Uganda, as soon as I'll testify with it, I got on the, uh, witchcraft is all over Africa. I got on the radio, I preached on the radio in Africa. I said, I challenge every, every witch doctor in Africa. I said, you bring whatever you got. You try to put it on me. Go ahead, I dare you to put it on me. Come on, bring it. Then I went to everybody in Uganda, and you start praying too. And I said, I, you pray for me. And then I went and started preaching. I sat down at a church service at 11 o'clock at night, at 11 o'clock at night, and this girl, and the service finished, and Susan over there walked up to me and said, what are you doing picking a fight with the devil at 11 o'clock at night, Art? Yeah. <laughs> Did you not say that? Yeah. And I said, you watch this. Over probably three to 500 people came for it, wanted to get out of witchcraft. Yeah. Just like being tortured. I said, bring it. So we started ministering, and I said, watch this. And devils were flying out everywhere. They were just going, it wasn't not Susan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I got the devil really ticked off. And I got the witchcraft. So I go home, and I'm all excited. And, I, I, and, I, and I'm wearing this watch that the guy gave me. I thought it was kind of cool. And because uh, you know, I challenged these devils, all these witch doctors, and, and about one in the morning, boils started breaking all over out of my rear end, and I go, "Ooh, this was kind of weird." <laughs> Big boils, and they were trying to go up, and then they started going up my back, then they went to my shoulders, and then they flipped over on my face, and my lips started curling up, and my bottom lips started curling down, my eyes started swelling. And I said, I said to the Lord, I says, "Who's God? You know, I'm not afraid, but I think I might die tonight. <laughs> I think I may have to go to the hospital. I thought it was an allergic reaction. And I heard God audibly say this. I heard God audibly say this. 
up and out of Art gets <laughs> witchcraft. Get the watch <laughs> off your arm. <laughs> I grabbed that watch, I threw it down. I says, I got you, you witch. I got you, you witch doctors. You're gonna, I'm gonna trample all over you. I, you are under my feet. Amen. And I looked like a pig. And when they preached with me, the next day I preached, I looked like a pig. The instant I finished preaching, my face turned instantly normal. I'm just as ham as I am now, with my crazy hat on. <laughs> All right, we got a great a, a great town here. Now, hey, are you guys excited about jumping into the kingdom? Yes. Yeah. Remember, this is my dad told me, and my dad was the toughest man I ever used to uh, uh, I used to see him kick people's tails up and down. I pull him off, says, "Hey, you got that chain?" I said, "Dad, you're gonna kill the man. Get off of him." He used to tell me. He said, "We go to rosary as a Catholic." And nothing but women in there, and my dad and me. And he says, Art, real men love Jesus. The rest of those guys are a bunch of sissies. And I go, whoa. <laughs> you know, this is where, because it takes, it ha you have to be strong. Because you're taking a step, in, and, and it, everything is warring against you. It's trying to kick you back. But you're stepping into the kingdom. You're stomping on the devil's head. You're, are, are you guys ready? Are we all serious about this? Are you ready? Okay, let's say this. Hey, champion, this is a reenactment of when I was on that island and I was coming back and leading 200 people to Christ. I, I got up to the top of the sand dune, which you saw in the picture, and, and I got up to the top. I remember the Holy Spirit jumping in my stomach. I go, whoa, 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 whoa. And, and then all of a sudden, I started running down, the, uh, uh, down that hill, that mountain, running with everything I can, passing people by. And all of a sudden, the thought came into my mind that I was going to jump up in the air, grab my hand, and go into a tuck and become a wheel. And go. And so I started, I did it. I leaped up in the air and, and dove in the sand, head over heel. And I started going over and over. And every time I come up, I just roll. I think I was holding my heel, and I was picking up speed, passing everybody, laughing and laughing. But I thought, as you, as you see, that I thought I was going to land, run out on the beach, come out of my tuck and run out of the beach. But when I got there, I got to the edge, and there was no beach there. It was just a cliff. And Paul Ryder, not me, says it was like a 20-foot cliff that I fly off. In the picture, you can see, it's not exactly where I went off, but I believe it's pretty close to one of those places high. And I just flew off like this. I remember leaving, uh, the, and I stuck my hands out like this. And I don't know what was thinking, but I think the Holy Ghost just completely took over me at that time because I don't remember flying in the air. I All I remember was when I hit the beach, and this is how I hit the beach, and I didn't block myself, which is normal, try to stand off. I, there was no fear in me at all, uh, or even think about protecting myself. I just, he kind of took me out of it there, and I landed on the beach just like this. I landed just like a snow angel. I landed right on my face with my hands out, just like an angel. I, thought, I guess I thought I was an angel. And I landed there, and I remember my when I woke, when I come back to my senses, I, 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 my face was full of sand. I reached over, I blew all, all of the sand out of my face, and started laughing. <laughs> Everybody was freaked out. I think the, even the natives freaked out. They said, "Who is this crazy man?" And do I know why I do it? No, but I believe God's got an idea that he, it, it was a prophetic, something I'm going to do in the future. And, and I've had the idea of jumping out of an airplane over, over Africa in one of those rocket suits and throwing out that and bringing large crowds and leading them to Christ. And that may be what he wants. I don't know. Pray for me. I figured that out because this is crazy. This is just some of the crazy adventures I've had in Africa. But you too can have a crazy adventures in God. It, it, it's just one man, uh, uh, not anybody special, just one man that, that, uh, that, that I believe for, has pursued God. Maybe, uh, I don't know how much I pursue him, but, uh, but I have done, I've tried it, tried it. This men are better, but you can have it. I know it's possible. And if God can do it for me, he can do it for anybody. It's a great life. <laughs> I wouldn't trade. So everything I do in Africa is a little edgy. I'm crazy. But that's Art Montgomery, and I, that's just got what I am. This is the way I do, hey, and I love God, and I know some stuff.
Vicious Revival Ministries present Africa 2016. quite make it out. He can't quite make it out, but he's seeing something. Make somebody a number one in the Yeah. 